Hi, Tom here, and in this week's Circle and Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. Start by drawing a vanishing point on the right, a point where parallel lines will look like they meet in perspective if they were to continue all the way to the mark, to the vanishing point. Next, draw a vertical line for the corner of the building. Now draw a diagonal line from the top of our vertical line to the vanishing point, and this will be the top of the side of the building. And now we can draw a line to the left for the top front of the building, and then a vertical line for the back of the building, and then a line on the left to show the width of the building. So now we have the basic cube in one point perspective, at least the top half of a cube in one point perspective. Next, using the vanishing point, draw two more structures, tall blocks on each side, so we can extend the shape forward a bit lower than the original top of the first cube. It will stick out a bit on the left as we're looking at the building towards the front, but also towards the right of the building. Now we can divide this block into two thin towers, either side, with a gap in the middle. Make sure all of the vertical lines that you use stay vertical and parallel to each other. With a sort of semicircle structure at the top. And we can use the vanishing point to find the angle of all of the lines going right. Between these two shapes, draw a larger semicircle, which we can add windows into this space later on. Now, at the top of this structure, we can draw an ellipse, a sort of squashed circle, a very squashed circle, at the top of the building. And now, on top of the ellipse, we can draw the central dome of the Hagia Sophia. Next, we can widen these structures at the front in a series of shallow steps. using our vanishing point for the right-hand side lines. Next, draw some vertical structures made of three parts. And then we can draw a dome on the top. We can repeat this first shape again two more times so that we have three structures with three domes all in the foreground in front of the main building. Next, we can draw a diagonal line as a guide for the top of the minarets using our vanishing point as a guide. Read the line along from the left to the right so that we have sort of like a big cube in one point perspective above the building. At each of the four corners of this big cube, we can draw a very pointed triangle for the top of the minarets. Then, once they are in place, we can continue to draw them using vertical lines, so we have the very thin minarets. Next, we need to add some semicircular domes and some other roof structures to the Hagia Sophia. When the Hagia Sophia was built in the 6th century, it was the largest building in the world. 
it has a massive dome which is over 180 feet high and very wide, over 100 feet wide. And this dome must weigh a great amount and its weight is supported by the surrounding domes and part domes that take the weight and then transfer it to structures and columns within the great building. The Hagia Sophia is in Istanbul and is one of the most famous examples of Byzantine architecture. Byzantine architecture is architecture of the period of the Byzantine Empire, which is a period in time when Constantine the Great moved the Roman capital to Byzantium, which then became Constantinople. And then the I think the Byzantine Empire collapsed in the mid 15th century. So the Byzantine Empire, the architecture of the Byzantine Empire, developed to some extent out of Roman architecture, but it went in a very different way and influenced the medieval style of architecture that dominated Europe for so many centuries. Thank you very much for watching this drawing tutorial from Circle Line Art School. I hope you find it useful for your own drawings. Please visit my website circlelineartschool.com to learn more. I make a new drawing tutorial every week.